Hello everybody, uh, my name is uh, Rahul Miklani. I am a Vice President of Engineering here at Nashtech. I am Cloud uh, Practice Head and uh, DevOps Competency Head uh, here at Nashtech. Uh, as a seasoned uh, Cloud Practice and DevOps Competency Head, I bring over uh, decades of experience in leading technical teams and delivering uh, highly scalable solutions in the field of cloud virtualization, hosting, mobile communications, open source operations, and data centers. My deep technical uh, leadership and project management skills enables me to build and scale DevOps, cloud, and SRE tech stacks from scratch uh, while ensuring observability, scalability, and high availability. At Nasdaq, I lead uh, DevOps and cloud engineering practice, managing everything uh, from hiring, training, uh, implementation and scaling. In addition, I have uh, recently launched the DevOps SRE Training Academy and started the DevOps Audit. So, if you are looking for DevOps Audit for your uh, projects, uh, do get in touch with us. I also focus on driving uh, FinOps and SecOps uh, with vulnerability testing and cost savings for clouds and obviously containerized environments. Uh, my technical uh, expertise includes uh, functional requirements, microservices, team management, fintech, uh, Microsoft Azure, AWS, GCP, Terraform, and Python programming. I am passionate about new challenges and innovative ideas that push the boundaries of what's possible with technology. Uh, so sit back and relax, and I welcome uh, you to this webinar. Well, uh, quickly moving on to today's agenda. Uh, today uh, we'll look into. Uh, uh, introduction to ADO uh, as your DevOps and then uh, we'll look into uh, as your uh, pipelines and see what they mean to us after that we'll look into the integration of Terraform and uh, Azure and how we can utilize Terraform uh, to have uh, powerful IAC working with ADO uh, we'll quickly show you a detailed demo on uh, setting up uh, as your pipeline with Terraform for ACR uh, after we wrap up the demo, we'll look into the best practices we should uh, use for uh, Terraform and ADO. Uh, if you still think you need a webinar on a particular topic uh, concerning uh, any DevOps or Cloud topic, uh, don't hesitate uh, to get in touch with us. So uh, sit back and let's start our webinar uh, with uh, introduction uh, to Azure DevOps. So what is ADO? or azure devops uh, so uh, azure devops or ado is a robust integrated uh, set of uh, dev tools and services designed to uh, streamline the entire software dev uh, lifecycle. well uh, it includes boards uh, repos pipelines test plans and artifacts uh, to help uh, us plan develop uh, test and deliver software efficiently well uh, ADO, azure devops or adio uh, promotes uh, collaboration by providing a shared platform for dev test and uh, deployment teams um, better communication and info sharing uh, is quickly uh, achievable with adio on the same board right and uh, it matters uh, because of its agility uh, because PM features in uh, boards, uh, ADO boards, uh, enable us to respond quickly. We can tag them and we can tag changes, tag testings and parents, right? And if there are any changing requirement, uh, the user, customer or the project manager can give the feedback on the ADO or the board itself. Uh, automation, um, ADO matters because of the automation uh, ADO provides. Uh, the pipelines, uh, if they have any repetitive uh, tasks or stages, uh, we can use them for uh, any any of our stage, right? So the release, the time to uh, release is quicker, right? And uh, the same goes for QA. Uh, quality assurance uh, is very uh, easy uh, with ADO. Uh, it helps us uh, deliver reliable and high quality software. Now, if we talk about scalability, ADO skills with our needs, uh, making it uh, suitable for our changing needs and varied uh, needs of the R, right? Yeah, if, if we talk about uh, extension uh, features of ADO, 
uh, integration of ADO is is very easy with uh, Visual Studio um, Cloud Cloud Azure and then GitHub and even with Jenkins. Uh, so uh, the whole ecosystem is designed in such a way that it is easy easy to integrate and easy to go through. Um, so that's uh, more or less uh, uh, about ADO. And now let's quickly move on to uh, the next topic in uh, agenda, uh, which is uh, Azure pipelines, right? Uh, Azure pipelines are the backbone of ADO, uh, offering automation, uh, flexibility, CI/CD, and uh, scalability and availability, right? It empowers us uh, to build, test, and deploy application across different platform and uh, cloud environments uh, seamlessly. Uh, benefits of uh, Azure pipelines are numerous uh, in in terms of dev and operations uh, work. Right, uh, when we talk about automation, uh, stages help us uh, reduce manual intervention. Uh, we have the flexibility of a uh, wide range of uh, languages and deployment targets. So its versatility is its flexibility. Right now, if we talk about scalability. We can scale our CI/CD pipelines to meet the demands of uh, varied demands of projects um, in terms of high uh, scalability or descaling, right? Uh, as we previously uh, discussed, uh, ADO uh, services uh, integrate seamlessly with uh, Git or any third-party uh, tools. Most of the third-party tools to create a cohesive dev and delivery uh, ecosystems. Um, extensibility one of the major benefits of Azure pipelines is the extensibility uh, we can customize and extend our uh, pipelines using a rich set of extensions and in the aggregations right you can go to the ADO marketplace and see a whole lot of uh, extensions uh, available uh, which we can integrate to uh, talking about security uh, as a DevOps engineer we know about our back so uh, Azure pipelines uh, provides built-in uh, security features and supports uh, role-based uh, access controls uh, are back, uh, which ensures that our pipeline and uh, deployment uh, processes are secure and uh, tightly uh, handled right uh, so that's more or less about uh, Azure uh, pipelines uh, before we go into a quick demo of uh, how uh, Terraform and ADO Azure pipeline works uh, like uh, let revise some of the basic uh, as we all know terraform is an isc tool that uh, helps us in infrastructure uh, provisioning uh, terraform is based on declarative uh, set text uh, so we can define and manage in steps uh, what all uh, azure resources uh, we want right so azure and terraform works hand in hand to provide a powerful infrastructure management uh, solution right now they complement each other uh, while uh, azure offers a vast cloud services and a robust platform terraform has the support right terraform provides a, a consistent way to manage the resources right together they create a powerful infrastructure management tool that uh, allows you to harness azure capability efficiently right so uh, before we go into demo uh, I want to rephrase uh, that, uh, reiterate that Terraform is more than just a tool. Uh, the declarative approach and the usage of managing cloud resources is very efficient, right? Uh, so by by embracing Terraform, we are we can unlock the full potential of IEC, right? For all our infrastructure needs, right? in this in this demo today's demo we'll we'll see acr but uh, having said that we can cover a whole lot of other scenarios as well now uh, as our uh, demo is acr based uh, let's let's uh, know something about acr um, azure container registry acr uh, it's it's a fully managed uh, container registry uh, which is uh, a Microsoft uh, product uh, on Azure cloud well it caters the 
modern software development and deployment needs uh, which is like a central uh, hub for uh, container images right um, it can store and manage all our uh, container images securely we can uh, store organize images and then we can have security features like RBAC. Obviously, we can use uh, network policies, private endpoints as well. Uh, it works well with our uh, pipeline stages, right? And um, ACR works uh, on um, streamlining deployment workflows because uh, um, it, it is the single point bridge between uh, containerized application and AKS, right? So Azure service fabric or any other container orchestration service uh, you can attach uh, with AKS, right? Now you can effortlessly deploy and scale your applications, yeah. right? While ACR is uh, globally available with multi-region uh, replication features, so that gives us a, a redundancy uh, requirement clarity. And obviously it is highly accessible across all the regions, right? So uh, redundant storage and DR uh, mechanisms uh, becomes easy with the ACR, right? Now uh, it's integration as it is again as your product. Uh, so whether you want to uh, integrate it with the ADO, logic apps, uh, functions, Azure functions, or any anything on, on, on the marketplace with Azure, it is easily integratable. So our, our pipelines and automation tasks becomes easier and better uh, managed, right? Um, that is why uh, everything on uh, Azure works uh, uh, seamlessly with respect to uh, integration. So it's one of the best features uh, for ACR, right? Uh, as we discussed previously, uh, HA and uh, scalability, uh, one of the major chunks of our uh, discussion point today. So it is uh, ACR is uh, designed to handle large scale deployments, uh, right? Uh, it can accommodate uh, our, our growing scale uh, scalability needs and then uh, it ensures that our container image uh, registry uh, it performs optimally as well uh, so even during high demand uh, high number of hits to uh, acr it works uh, quite uh, uh, good right uh, so that's uh, that's more about uh, acr uh, now let's uh, quickly move on to a, a brief uh, detailed basically uh, demo and uh, see how uh, terraform and uh, edo uh, works right um, and today's demo will look into setting up uh, as your pipeline using uh, terraform to automate the deployment of resources uh, that includes acr as well uh, i'll walk you uh, through the step uh, uh, one by one and uh, let's let's see the power of uh, um, Azure uh, pipelines uh, ADO uh, with uh, Terraform and uh, how we uh, create resources like uh, ACR as well. So over to uh, Atisha for a quick demo. Thank you Raul sir. So quickly move forward to the demo part. Let's start with the Azure DevOps uh, dashboard. Here is the five main components of Azure DevOps that are Azure Board, Azure Repos, Azure Pipelines, Azure Test Plans, and Azure Artifacts. So I am going to show you a few of these things in the demo today that how you can use Azure Pipelines for the deployment of private container registry using the Terraform module. And of course, I'm not going to touch in the demo about the test plans, artifacts, ports, and repos. I hope everybody understood this overall infrastructure. We have got Azure board to create our work items. We have got Azure repos to store our code. We have got Azure pipelines, which can help us to do the build of the code, release of the code into a particular environment. And then we have uh, Azure test plans, which we can use to do our testing, which could be our manual test cases and uh, automatic uh, test cases all of that can be done as a part of the azure test plans and the last azure artifacts it serves as a, a centralized environment and it enables a developer to share their code efficiently and manage all the packages from one place 
so let's start with the pipeline creation yeah that looks good yep for now there is no pipeline so we are going to create a new pipeline what it is asking me is where is our source code is it in the azure repo is it in the bitbucket or is it in the github our code of terraform module is on the github so we will select the option github and uh, once you will click here if you are not authorized to your github account you would be required to sign in and it will automatically open a page where uh, you can log in with your credentials and you uh, can have the repo your wish to use and as i have already authorized my github account so i am not having this page for approval of authorization and uh, yeah so i am gonna select this uh, repo that is private acr for the deployment of our acr azure pipelines.yml file we are using for the deployment of private acr and uh, this is the azure devops pipeline yaml code named demo acr this pipeline doesn't have a specific trigger meaning it won't automatically run on any particular event but uh, we'll have to run it manually and here is the breakdown of key components uh, first is parameters uh, this section defines two parameters that can be configured when the pipeline is run that is ACR AC name and location. These parameters have defined default values but can be overridden when triggering the pipeline. Now we have pool. So this specifies the built agent pool to use. In this case, it's set to be default. Now we have steps. Uh, this section lists the step that the pipeline will execute. Here, check out cell. This step check out the source code of the repository where the pipeline is defined. And the next is script ls. This step run the ls command which lists the files and directories in the current directory. It essentially checking the content of the workspace. And the next is PowerShell task. So this step uh, run various terraform command using powershell script the first is init so they include a terraform init that is initialized terraform and then we have terraform validate uh, it validate the terraform configuration all we have uh, in our terraform module and then we have terraform plan to display an execution of plan and then terraform apply it applies the terraform configuration changes without asking for confirmation the flag hyphen auto hyphen approve is used to automate these steps so this pipeline appears to be focused on the terraform automation for infrastructure provisioning but it lacks a specific trigger so it won't run automatically based on the event like code commit or pull request so it need to be manually triggered when needed or you can set a trigger event as per your requirement as you can add a trigger branch main so that once you will commit any code or any changes in the main branch the pipeline will trigger automatically and now before moving forward we need to install and start the agent as i am going to install it uh, locally so we need to follow the steps that has been given in the new agent creation first we need to download the agent it will take some second to download and now let's create a directory where we will extract the agent file
yeah so now we have all the required file and now we will configure the agent with dot slash config dot sh press y and enter and then we need to specify the server url here now press enter and then we need to create a personal access token let's go back to the azure devops account and create a personal access token as i have already a personal access token so i am regenerating it And I am selecting the agent pool as default. Yeah. So now the next command is for the running the agent. So once it will start connection, that uh, there would be a log made available so now let's run the pipeline and have a look how the deployment is going on the azure portal so first run the pipeline and here we need to give the permission to our default agent pool And this is the job we are running for deploying our ACR on our Azure portal. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we can see on the screen. Um, exactly. Go ahead. Go ahead, Atish. Now we can also take a look on the Terraform code for ACR as the pipeline will take some seconds to complete its execution. So here is the Terraform module for our private ACR where we are creating a resource group and in that resource group we are creating a private uh, container registry. So now yeah, these are the stages of the pipeline. The first is initializing the job, then checkout, then running the ACR, and then the running the command Terraform init and Terraform format, Terraform validate, and uh, the Terraform plan command is now going on. Yeah, so now the plan stage is complete and the Terraform apply stage is going on. Yeah, exactly. This looks uh, quite exhaustive and informative. Yeah, so show us on the portal, Atisha. Uh, yep. As soon as resource group and private ACR start creating, we will be able to see the logs here. As we can see, the creation of resource group has been started and we can see the logs in the Terraform apply stage. Now let's check it on the Azure portal. Refresh. 
refresh it again yeah here we have already created our azure demo rg using the pipeline now let's see the acr has been created or not yeah the creation of acr is going on yeah now the deployment is done and the job is succeed let's check it on the portal refresh yeah now we can see our acr is here and the provisioning state of acr is succeed so this is how we can run the azure pipeline and integrate it with the terraform so that's all from today's uh, demo now over to you Rahul sir uh, thanks for the demo uh, so uh, before we finish today's uh, webinar uh, let's look into uh, uh, the best practices and a few tips uh, for uh, azure and uh, terraform right so uh, we can uh, use uh, terraform declarative approach to uh, define infrastructure and we can store our infrastructure code in uh, version control for traceability and collaboration right we always have to make sure that we break down our terraform configuration into modular components so that we can promote uh, reusability and maintain maintainability across uh, multiple projects pipeline as a code uh, we can define our azure pipelines using code and then we can store this pipeline configuration in uh, git uh, to track changes and enable uh, collaboration right mm, environment isolation uh, we can maintain some separate environments uh, dev test qa prod whatever uh, to prevent uh, unintended changes and ensure consistent deployments right uh, secret management uh, one of the best practices to safeguard sensitive uh, information using adio secrets uh, or key vaults right um, we don't really want you to hard code secrets directly in code and configuration uh, testing and validation uh, always implement automated testing in pipeline to validate infrastructure changes before deployment so you can catch errors uh, easily and early uh, on the dependency management side uh, we clearly are uh, defined dependencies uh, between resources in our terraform configuration to ensure proper resourcing provisioning uh, order um, in, in rollback and disaster recovery uh, always establish rollback mechanism and dr uh, plans in case of deployment failures or unexpected issues uh, monitoring and logging um, always implement uh, robust monitoring and logging uh, azure provides a lot of services like uh, azure monitor application insight and azure log analytics right and in the end always maintain um, comprehensive documentation for your pipelines terraform configuration and deployment processes uh, documentation is is key to you know help other developers on the team uh, well these uh, best practices will empower us to build efficient reliable and secure ci cd pipelines uh, while managing infrastructure on azure and uh, uh, utilizing terraform uh, for acr uh, uh, the container registry right so we can tailor them with our specific needs and use the modularization techniques uh, we can refine our DevOps practices and uh, move towards uh, continuous improvement. Uh, as we conclude our uh, webinar on ADO, uh, Azure pipelines uh, utilizing Terraform for ACR, uh, we should always remember that DevOps is always about continuous improvement. So, you should move towards empowering your team with the right tools and practices to accelerate uh, software delivery and to drive innovation. This was just an example. Uh, again, uh, if you have any particular topic you want us to uh, cover, don't hesitate to get in touch with us. Uh, right. Uh, so this brings us to the end of this webinar or session. Uh, so we pride 
our selves on our expertise in cloud engineering and our commitment uh, to providing top notch customer services our team of skilled professional uh, is equipped uh, with the knowledge and tools necessary to solve any cloud engineering problem you may encounter we value our customers and are dedicated to helping them achieve their goals by providing innovative solutions tailored to their specific needs so if you are facing any cloud engineering issues don't hesitate to reach out to us we are always ready and eager to help you find the best solutions we would love to connect and work together to make your business successful this is rahul miglani signing off and happy learning do reach out to us if you have any questions or doubt happy learning